Alright, good morning guys. It's Monday, December 14th. So, uh, today it, I'm going to get tested for COVID-19 right now. In about 10 minutes I'm leaving my house. Um, but I wanted to say hello. It's the first day of finals and this is the start to my finals week vlog. So, uh, you guys are going to be with me while I'm uh, stressing out the last week of the semester. So, just wish me luck. So, I did have a final, not a final, an exam for math but then um i did it and i did it and uh, i got a really low grade but she grades you know the rest of the work later but yeah um so i did that test i have to do a presentation for spanish today i have an exam on wednesday and i have two essays due by the end of the week for english and spanish so we're gonna just get that let me get that going you're gonna see how my day goes and it's really cold outside it's like 30 something degrees because it rained yesterday so it's really cold and then there's my dog being spoiled but yeah, um, I hope you guys have a great week, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, so I did just come back from my test. Um, I am currently making myself some coffee because I'm going to need it for the rest of the day. I'm going to make my bed, I'm going to start my presentation for Spanish. It's currently 8.18 8 in the morning. I don't know how I'm up this early, but you know what, it's okay, because we're living. So I'm going to show you guys my coffee making. Ready? So now we're going to have some breakfast and we're going to see how this rest of the day goes because it's going to be a tough one, trust me. So I just finished breakfast and um, I, I'm ready for the day. I just, you guys should see what my dog just, just did. I, I don't know if you guys can tell, but he's all dirty over there. He... He was digging a hole right there between that bucket and that little brick. Yesterday it was raining. Um, yesterday it was raining. It was... Um, they were all wet, so the steam is just letting out because the sun's starting to hit it. But yeah, um, right now I'm just going to get um, started with homework. I'm going to clean my, my mess, and then I'm going to be getting on with my day. But you guys will see that. Alrighty guys, so it is about... 10 30 in the morning now and i am just getting started with homework and all that i got a little cleaned up a little organized i had to submit an application for a program at my college to see if i could accept it this semester i didn't get accepted this last semester for fall 2020 but i'm applying for spring 21 so hopefully they accept me it's basically just helping me out with textbook payments everything so i'm just hoping that once I send it over, I'm going to mail it. I don't think it's going to be there before the semester ends, but I hope, because it's Monday and I'm going to mail it today, so we'll see. But other than that, um, Spanish, so I'm like going to start all these assignments that are due soon. And then I have the presentation that I told you guys about. My, I think it's the final presentation. Then it's the essay that he's talking about. It's a little unfocused. It's, yeah, essay, the presentation, and all these assignments that are overdue. So it's currently, sorry, you're going to see Vampire Diaries in the background, but it's currently uh, 11.40 in the morning. It's about to be midday. Um, I started my Spanish presentation like an hour ago, and I was like, oh, I'm going to finish really fast because it's just like doing like very minimal things. But no, I actually had to like do research and everything. So it took me an hour, a little more than I expected, but it's okay because I still have the rest of the day to do stuff. Um, I just finished my coffee right before I started my, my Spanish assignment, so I'm like energized, ready to go for the, for the rest of the day, but let's see, what else do I have to do? I have to do my, um, I have to start my English essay, which was due Thursday, I mentioned. Um, sorry, Friday. And then after that, I'm going to focus on my math things, which is like, catching up with work as well as Spanish catching up with work and then doing you know the guides so I can be ready for the final because I'm going to review tomorrow all day for the final because I'm not supposed to go back to work until Wednesday so we're just going to hope for the best right now we're going to see how it goes and I hope you guys are having a good day you know always wishing you guys the best 
So, um, so far what I've done is I finished my presentation, as I said. I st I'm still brainstorming what prompt I want to follow for my English essay. I start the review for my math tomorrow. I'm going to finish my English essay. I'm going to start my fan my Spanish essay, and I'm going to uh, just try to get everything, you know, in order before I freak out. So, yeah. Okay, guys. So, uh, right now, it's 5 p.m. Um, currently, I am... I got caught up with some family things at home, like helping my, my mom out with laundry and stuff. So right now, what I'm just going to finish up my essay to get that out of the way. Uh, I'm going to do my responses to my um, to my final for my Spanish class. I'm going to do the 10 responses, and I'm going to go ahead and try to get started on the studying for the math. Because I just got my exam uh, results from yesterday. I got an F. Um, mostly everyone in the class failed, obviously, because the teacher released um, grades. Before that, she did an announcement saying that we obviously didn't see her videos because um, everyone kind of failed. So um, we're just going to hope for the best for the final now. I'm going to review all those videos now. I have to. And then I'm going to do the the guides as I go to. So just wish me luck. So um, the reason that I, I had a little bit of time on this gigabyte on this SD card, I had a video for my sister that she wanted me to film with my camera. I deleted it. It was a 10 minute video and it gave me a couple minutes more. So I am just waiting for those SD cards that I ordered to come in on Friday. They're two 32 gigabytes because I'm going to have one for Christmas and one for just regular vlogs. I'm probably going to get a higher storage one for my vlogs just because I don't want to be midway through a vlog and be like, I'm running out of space. So, you know, it's going to be like that. Alright guys, it is 7.30 p.m. and I am almost done with my essay. Um, I know I was supposed to finish it a while ago, but um, I started I started and finished wrapping my presents. So as you guys can tell, we have gifts under the tree already. Um, yeah, right now I'm just going to be doing my... I'm finishing up my essay. I'm on my fourth paragraph. I need five total. So I'm almost done and I'm on my fourth page of writing. And then after that, I'm just gonna respond to the ten. To, I'm gonna respond to the ten people I need to for my final for Spanish, and then I'm going to study for the math one. So this is gonna be pretty intense. But as long as I get this essay and the um, ten responses done, I'm good for the day. Alrighty, guys. Good morning, guys. It's um, Tuesday, December fifteenth. Uh, it's nine thirty in the morning. Uh, I just got up because last night I couldn't sleep. So. Um, this morning I just woke up right now, barely. Um, I changed into my clothes today. It's repping Baby Rexa. Um, today, my goal, my main goal, yesterday I finished my presentation for Spanish and I responded to 10 people. And then I did my English essay and I turned it in. And then so today's goal is mainly focus on math, but I'm trying to see if I can finish the... I'm trying to see if I can finish the um, essay for Spanish first right now. If it's not too hard, I'll finish it probably like after I have breakfast. And then I can just focus the rest of the day on math and just keep going with math all day. And then until tomorrow, like in midday, I'll do the final. And then after the final, I'm good for the semester. I haven't cleaned up anything since I woke up. I took a shower, so I haven't really had time to. Oh my god, he scared me. He's right outside the door. But yeah, it's like... Clean up my de my bed, like make sure this is cleaned and organized, put away my stuff. My dog is hiding. Oh, he's outside because he heard the noise too. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to clean up my bed. I'm going to clean up all this area. Look at a little Christmas tree. Yes, last night we were um, putting up... Sorry guys, I'm going to turn the camera. So last night we were putting uh, Christmas presents that we had wrapped under the tree. Just so we can, you know, get it ahead of time. I still have to get gifts for um my secret santa at work even though i'm not working until i get my covid test results i believe it's gonna be fine either way if um i do anything but um yeah it's i still have to get my uh, secret santa gift i have to get gifts for my friend carla and her girlfriend so those two and then i still have to get gifts for my cousin my two cousins because we're doing little just gift exchange not exchange but giving each other gifts so we're gonna be doing that they're not too bad as I thought they were going to be. I finished two parts of my final. I still have to do two more parts. Okay, 
Good morning, everyone. Uh, it is currently 9.15 a.m. Um, so, so far today, I woke up like at 7 actually, and I forgot to start my vlog when I woke up. Um, my COVID test results came in and I came out negative, which I'm really happy about. Alrighty guys, it is 11.10 a.m. Um, I have been studying since the last clip and I am taking a break right now. I'm gonna just have some crackers and some water just to keep my brain afloat just during this day. Um, I'm talking low because my sister's in class. Um, so uh, my 10 minute break is now over. Um, so it, it took me, it was like a five minute like gap by the by these clips but that's because i set up the i set up the camera i put the lens on and i got my snacks so and that's when i vlogged but it's my break is over now so i'm gonna go ahead and bring my water with me to my desk and then um after i'm gonna just go ahead and just keep going i'm just gonna keep going until uh, maybe 12 15 ish and i'm gonna take another break if i haven't finished but if i finish the modules i'm just gonna go ahead and no, actually, I'm not going to finish until 1.15. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take a one-hour one hour study time. And I'm going to take a 15-minute break again. Then I'm going to go all the way till 1.30. And then um, after the 15-minute break of 1.15, I'm going to go ahead and just do my final. So, wish me luck. And I'll see you guys later. Alrighty, hello, guys. It is about 6 p.m. now. Um, so, there's a little situation going on with my whole final thing. So, um, the situation is that I, there's this little feature on the website where they put grades in that you can, like, predict grades. My grade is a low F in math, and I did some calculations, like, I put some numbers in the grading thing, and uh, I looked it up, and it said that either way if i do pass the final with 100 percent, which is not guaranteed for me because i don't know the, i don't know the content all the way and if she were to drop a, a better grade because she said based on performance she would drop a grade i did both calculations and it seems like she is not going to be like she's not I'm, my performance has been dying down since the beginning of the school year but so i doubt she's going to be giving me that extra help and if i'm not guaranteed the exam 100 percent so i decided not to do the final i know it's a bad decision to make and it's very bad timing but i feel like i'm going to be doing um worse doing the final because either way i'm going to be having an f no matter what she can drop two grades she can only drop one exam grade that was my lowest i dropped it like i did myself and i just put like an a and it just erased the grade and then i put a hundred percent for the final just in case and either way it will not help me i'll still be at a d which is not satisfactory and it's like a very low d so let's just say that i get wrong on something and all that it's still like gonna be an f so i have decided to not take the final for that it was a very hard decision for me to take because i was like i'm always one to be doing everything that i need to do and it's this college it's much more important for me to do the final but i just feel like why put so much effort in if i'm not going to be able to even pass the class in the end so i have decided to move math 232 statistics to summer 2021 which is going to be just after this next semester that's coming up so then i'm going to be having three classes this um summer session i'm going to be having cfs 140 i'm going to be having um Okay, um, I'm going to be having CFS 140, LGBT 120, and if I add math, Mathematics 232. Because I still want to be on track to transfer on time to the university within two years, which is what the plan was in the first place. I know this is a very, like, dumb decision for many of you for me to take, and a very selfish, in a way, because the teacher's putting in this much time to for the students, and... I know and I, pre I appreciate the time that the professor has given me because I've been struggling a lot in this class and, and for me in the end to not even take her final exam that she prepared for and it was very hard honestly like I was really thinking about it I called up some of my friends who are really honest with me and straight up but I just have decided to not take the final exam uh, which is and I talked to my counselor and he said I should have talked to the teacher but today was the final was due and I was like, okay, well, if it's not going to be a good thing for me in the end, 
I'm not going to push too hard. If I push too hard on myself and too much pressure, then, then in the end, that I'm not going to be good. Um, I was planning, I was thinking um, since the beginning of the school year, uh, before I even registered, I was like, um, I feel like I should take a gap year. I feel like I should take a gap year and not even go to college this year until COVID goes down because I'm one that likes to be... I'm one that likes to be in person and get that contact with the teacher and with the families and with all the community, everyone. I'm one to be in in person contact, but given our situation, we can't. And when I was about to graduate high school, when I was about to graduate high school is when Rona hit, when the coronavirus really impacted the whole world. And I found myself in school struggling really, really bad to do anything. And I was like, okay, well, if this is not going to be a beneficiary thing for me, I might take a gap year from college to avoid this, what I'm going through right now, happening. And I was really scared that I was gonna, that it was going to happen, and it did end up happening because it's just online learning is not my thing. Next semester is going to be online, and but for this next semester, I have to make subtle changes like work has to be less hours. Um, I have to be on top of it when I'm in school because when I, I I chose to have. Yeah, because when I was registering, I was telling myself, I was like, we need to focus more on school and really be on it for college so I can transfer with good standing at the college. Um, I did talk to my financial aid um, counselor, and she did tell me that um, if given, because this math 232 came with math 83, which is a support for the stats class, and um, given my situation, if I were to fail, it would be a five unit total loss. And then it would be um, 14 units, which is what I'm taking. Minus, minus five would leave me at nine units, which means I would not be in satisfactory nor in good standing for the college. Which for me, that is very hard hitting because, you know, my whole dream was to be really good in college and everything. And I really wanted to be like a star student, you know, to myself. Not to impress anyone, this is for me. What I'm doing for my future is for me, not for anyone else. I wanted to be a star student and, you know, be motivated because I do self-motivation. I don't need anyone to motivate me. I have to do it all myself. But with my mental health and everything, it just gets in the way. And so my mental health getting in the way, um, me not being able to do online instruction properly has really been affecting me. So. It, has, it was a really hard decision to say, okay, I'm just not going to take the final exam for math. But it was a decision that I feel like is better for me. So hopefully by summer 2021, I can get maybe some hybrid or in-person instruction. If not, then I'm just going to have to switch my plan around and wait till later semesters because you never know. So it was a very hard decision for me to take. And it was something that I will regret forever because... I'll think back and I'll be like, man, I really should have just taken that final. Really should have just tried harder, <laughs> tried harder and everything. But it's gonna be something that's gonna affect me, and I know it's gonna affect me in the future, and it's gonna hit me when I in the future, because it's just gonna be something that I'm gonna think back on. And I do really regret it. Like it's just something I do really regret doing, but I feel like it was a better option for me rather than damaging myself and everything. In a way that, you know, it's just not going to work out for me. But I just, I'm glad that I got this on camera and, yeah. Besides that, what I just said, um, I am about to start my Spanish essay, which is the last final that I'm going to be having. Um, then after that, I'm going to be heading out to the stores with my sister. We're going to the outlets real quick just to um, pick up some things. That, well, I need to finalize my Christmas shopping. Um... Today and tomorrow, I'm gonna finalize everything, and then I have to go to the store to pick up a Christmas gift for mom and dad. That's something that they're not expecting. And then um, I think probably this weekend I'm gonna go shop for my son. <laughs> He's dead asleep right now. He loves to sleep. But other than that, it's just gonna be going to the store real quick and getting our final Christmas shopping done. And I'm gonna take you guys along with me because. It's part of the college week vlog that I'm doing right now. Alrighty, hey guys. Um, it is really late at this point. It is 10.15 p.m. Um, 
it's been a really hectic day and I will go in depth of it in the next vlog. I'm going to do a little Q&A in like a couple of weeks and you guys are going to hear the entire story, a little rant. I might do it before if I feel like it, but if not, I'm just going to do it in the Q&A. But, um, so today, basically, I was having a couple, it was actually 1025, sorry. Um, I was having a couple problems with the work and some fiasco, so that's the thing that I wanted to rant about. <laughs> um, other than that... My sister and I went shopping really early, like around 1 and like around 3.30, we ended up going um, to go pick up my mom from work, like I mentioned. I think I already mentioned this, but I'm going to just say it again, because it's like a wrap-up of my day. Um, after we went back to um, Target, we were... <laughs>